Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Bicious RV and got a couple comments saying, hey, why don't you show more pop-ups? So, okay, here's some more pop-ups. Now that I have access to more things, uh, hopefully I can try to fulfill more of those suggestions as we go. Today we're looking at a Flagstaff, but keep in mind, Flagstaff and Rockwood are the exact same thing. So if you're near a Rockwood dealer, one of our Bicious dealerships has Rockwood instead of Flagstaff, they have the same model, just under a little bit different number. And I'll leave you the little Rosetta Stone conversion key in the video description. Anyway, what we're looking at here, and I'm just going to call these rock stabs moving forward for the sake of simplicity. Um, this is one of the, it's had different names over the years, like Sportsman Edition, or like Extreme Sports Package. And I always love whenever they throw the name Extreme in there. Like it's, it's made out of monster trucks and razor blades and motocross machines i don't know you get the idea it's just the name's always really extreme as it were but this one right here this is something that it can fold down small enough to fit into a garage but with the kind of light duty off-grid package we'll say where you've got like the extra propane tank on the front um if you want to get away from the parks you want to spend a little time like you know on some light duty woodland trails or maybe there's a little mountain path you want to go up or, or just out in the i don't know a little desert kind of area something like that this is something that might work for you, although it's perfectly park capable. One of the other cool things about this one is it actually has a little cassette toilet bathroom. Um, where that can be really nice is if you wake up in the middle of the night and it's a rainstorm outside. And um, I'll just say this, maybe you got to make a peeps or a poops. It is uh, nice to not have to put on a raincoat to do your business. <laughs> what was that on National Lampoon's vacation when Cousin Eddie shows up and, and the, uh, the girl's like, your house is awful nice and you don't have to put on a coat to use the toilet. And you know what's really interesting about pop-up campers? They're often some of the very best for giving us bigger beds. So back here, what I'm laying on right now is a 60 by 80. That's a true queen size. Up front, you have a 70 by 80. I don't, it's not a true king, but it's like some weird RV king, but it's bigger, you know? It's easy to throw like a little foam top around those. And then when you're traveling, you roll those up, you just lay them right down the middle of the camper and you know, you can have some pretty decent uh, stuff going on there. They're heated mattresses as well. I like how Rockwood integrates, uh, or Flagstaff, sorry, Rockstaff. They integrate the heating element into the mattress itself so that you don't have to like fight with an extra electric heat blanket pad or, or anything like that you know one of the i think probably one of the major big draws on this one though is going to be that cassette toilet system right there uh as you may have noticed earlier in the video privacy can be a bit of, of a concern at least you have the privacy curtain but there's always the um <clears throat> audio privacy aspect uh that you know you got to worry about but anyway neither here nor there the entry door did you notice it has those sliding airflow panels but it's a screen door. What's cool about those, the bottom can slide up or the top can slide down. So you can kind of do that a couple different ways. Let's take a look at the kitchen in a little bit more detail here. And actually, let me go ahead and open all that right up for you. Now, we get right down over here. First of all, you see like this little pocket of storage. Just any little nook and cranny, they could because it's so valuable in something like this. But next to that propane furnace, you see another what looks like door with hinges on both sides. You're like, what kind of idiot did that? Well, that's an access panel. That's not storage. That's something Rockstaff does a lot, basically. Big three burner cooktop, and I'm glad it has a grease backsplash over there, although with no side splashes, you may wanna come up with something there. A little hanging cabinet up top. Remember, you're gonna to have to take that down for transit, but when you are at your destination, you set up shop, anything that can hold something is better than nothing that holds nothing. Carry the one, divide by two. Yeah, I, I think that made sense. Okay, just kind of spit that out on the fly there. And it's actually really kind of cool, I think, that they gave us a place for silverware, you know, although I tend to camp more with plastic stuff. Now that refrigerator, by the way, is a three-way. It is a 12 volt electric 110 park power and propane. But a lot of times in today's market, when you hear 12 volt, you also associate or immediately hear the phrase, compressor fridge that's not what this is it's still a passive absorption fridge so what that means in english well in this order 12 volt 110 and propane will get you cold colder and coldest now you can see uh the double drop down knuckle buster storage doors there below the sofa but at least it's storage and uh, like your solar charge control your switches this is the best place they could really put the electronics they are down low where the little kids can get to them 
So you might want to put one of those, uh, dad said don't touch the thermostat plastic covers that you can lock over some of that stuff, depending on if the littles can't keep their fingers away. And this is another very interesting aspect of pop-up campers. They can sleep more people per pound of camper than I think any other variety of RV in the market today. By the way, that table, free floating, also includes that handy extension right there. So if you really wanna to try to get the whole family up to it, one of the things here is when that extends, if you're a bigger adult like me, I like to scooch forward and sit on the end of the bench. That could be a perfect little dining spot for me while still leaving like super comfortable room for like my wife and kid over here. That could work very, very nicely. Now, Mr. David Weidman, watcher of this channel from way back in the Halet days. I said it one time, you never let me forget it, the baby hammock. <laughs> Obviously, not what I would condone using that for, but you get the idea. Just extra little cargo hammock space. And on the front side of it, there's actually a little pocket that hangs down, you know, give you a spot to like set your phones at night or whatever. Um, up top here, you've also got one of those bigger, uh, nice air moving max air type vent fans. Really keep the air trucking around in here. So uh, let's talk a little bit of construction information here. I actually have a link uh, to the uh, Rock Staff pop-up factory tour where you got to see a bunch of their tent campers being made. So if you really want to see what's under the skin of these, you can. The box itself is all stick built. You've basically got like a, uh, like almost like a hammered tin skin kind of exterior looking thing on it. Although this one with their sports package, you've got the uh, little kind of diamond plate almost pseudo skirt at the bottom there acting like a little bit of a brush guard although you know the, the chassis is still kind of exposed so i think that's more just for visuals uh over here you've got that handy little outdoor griddle station so you've got cookers inside and out i've also noticed you have front and rear stabilizer jacks that's something not every pop-up has so that really helps you maintain some stability you're looking at the bigger westlake radials on this those are basically the same uh variety of tires i see a lot of big fifth wheels running on and this thing actually does have i believe it's a thousand watt inverter so your household outlets inside you can use those off battery power although keep in mind if you're doing that, you are most certainly taxing the battery, so keep your reserves in mind. This, again, does have that handy little cassette toilet job right here, so you don't have to worry about like going to an actual... Uh, well, you could go to a dump station, but um, see, I'm not a cassette toilet user, so I get a lot of my information on these from our viewers. I want to relay something that a couple people have told me. Can you fill me in in the comment section? Is this legit? Is this something that's okay? Should you not do this? Maybe we can knowledge share a little bit. So, whoa, lost my balance here. I got a bum knee. Let me shift a little bit. Ah, that's better. Now the, now the other one hurts. This just sucks no matter what. Okay, so anyway, um, I'm still recording. We're doing it live. All right, some of the re uh, reasons some people say I really prefer a cassette toilet is because they can skip the dump station line. Um, they say that they could like go into the bathhouse and just dump it directly in the toilet there and flush it. I'm not a cassette toilet user uh, and I'm not an RV park owner. So I'm kind of curious, like, is that okay? Is that a thing? Like, are there, I know there's some park owners or like hosts or something that watch us like, is that something you're cool with? Is that something that's all right? Or is that something where some people have been doing it and just kind of getting away with it and nobody was the wiser? I'm just kind of curious. Um, and maybe we can all figure out a new little camping hack to help some people out. Now, Rockstaff has long done this thing where on their, their pop-ups or their fold downs or whatever you want to call these folding campers like depending on the region of the country and i found they have different names sometimes kind of like you know pop or soda coke pepsi like one of those kind of arguments or debates or whatever but they call it a bh that actually i think is supposed to mean like bike holder but basically it's a uh, a cargo rack on the front of it now those um gates those bars that we were looking at those can be removed so if you need to more easily put some stuff up there or if you got some big stuff and you need to pop one off and you know tie it down ratchet strap it to the uh the, the decking or something you can do that these are seven foot wide so seeing around them is not hard but man i always still recommend some variety of towing extension mirrors and the tent stuff that we're looking at that's called duratech the material itself um, is waterproof. Now, I didn't just say your camper's waterproof. I said the material of the Duratec tent material is waterproof. And it has about a five-year warranty on it, which is great. It's also sectionalized. So let's say 
unattended child neighbor Johnny um, punches a hole through that thing right there with a stick or whatever. You can replace just that section or just that section. It's not an all one piece tent replacement. Um, also, uh, <laughs> cranking these things up and down ain't necessarily fun. I know that because I cut my teeth in this business on Jayco pop-ups. I've cranked plenty of pop-ups, probably more than almost anybody, almost anybody watching this. So when I see that power lift, I'm a happy camper. I'll tell you though, that is noisy. Uh, if you pull into a campsite at night and you hit that switch, <laughs> Neighbors are going to know you're here. <laughs> um, now, you can't really get a good look at it from here, but up top, you do have a solar package with this uh, along with that inverter. Uh, you know, helping keep, well, the inverter doesn't help keep the batteries alive, but it, it kind of like Rockwood packages solar and inverters together is what I want to say. But the solar is going to help keep your batteries topped off, and it is still prepped for a portable panel in case you want to park in the shade and chase the sun. You know, the roof panel wouldn't do you much good then. See so your water heater over here, that is gas only, but that's going to give you about 11 gallons of hot water per hour, which is really awful nice. And then if I get you over here, I meant to have that open. That is a hot side, uh, hot side, hot cold outside utility shower. I'm just batting a thousand today, aren't I? Okay, well, hey, never mind. You know what? Um, before I say something else stupid, I had a, <laughs> maybe I had to wrap this up. So, like I said, some light duty, maybe, off-grid use or if you are looking for something a little more actual off-road use we got stuff like that too whatever you need give us a call basically folks we do it all hitching pieces parts trades financing anything you need short of hidden dealer fees we don't do those sorry for the convenience short of that check the link in the video description make sure you subscribe we'll catch you next time take care stay safe have fun and best wishes from vicious everyone <laughs>